Howdy howdy, so today I'm gonna to have a tutorial with the Colored Rain Juicy Boost palette. I did this look right here, you can kind of see it. Uh, there are my glasses there, but there is the look. If you wanna see how I did this look, I did a talk through tutorial, so stay tuned. And if you're interested in cruelty-free and vegan makeup, lifestyle kind of stuff, then consider subscribing before you go. And let's get into the tutorial. All right, we're zoomed in and ready to go. Uh, the rest of my face is all done except for my eyes and my lips. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna be using the KVD Shake Primer. This takes some concentration. You have about negative three seconds to get a drop out after you're done shaking it because it just separates so quickly. But dry for a second. So today we're gonna use the Juicy Boost palette from Colored Rain. I did a video with two different looks on this. I'll link that below for some more inspiration. So first I'm gonna take the shade Ginger Bay. Do you guys like when I put the like if I hold it up like that or when I put a picture up here because maybe that maybe if I put a picture that'll be easier. I'm going to take that shade Ginger Bay and with this big fluffy brush I usually don't say what brush I'm using. This is the e.l.f. J. Kissa J2 brush. It's a big bigger fluffy one and it's not really round it's kind of flat. I'm just going to put that kind of on the inner part of my lid right here. I'm just patting that on and I feel like these shadows and especially with this primer go on a lot better if you pat versus like swipe. Right here I have a, a pimple that just healed because um, I didn't do makeup for a few days or I didn't really, I did make it but I didn't take pictures of it because there's a pimple like right on my eyelid. It's like, it's the worst place. All right, I'm gonna take that same brush and go in with the shade uh, mint leaves. I'm going to put that over top of that yellow a little bit and then just kind of take it over. I really like this shade. It's kind of a like an acid yellow or an acid green kind of look if you pat it on like that. I'm overlapping it with the yellow a little so it kind of just blends it together. And I am wiping that brush off on my little washcloth down here. I just bought the cheapest plain washcloths that you can get at Walmart or Target or whatever and use those to wipe off my brushes. So I'm going to take the shade uh, Energy Boost, it's that blue, and put that, just kind of keep going with that little pattern there, tap that on. I went too far over with these, I don't really have enough room for the blue. I'm going to go back into that green and bring that up. I feel like that kind of eliminates a lot of the blending too if you're just patting it and kind of blends itself instead of having to do this forever. Take a smaller blending brush. This is the NYX 44 brush. It doesn't have a name on here, but it's a really soft and fluffy, you see it on the back of that. It's a soft and fluffy blending brush that's a little bit smaller. I'm gonna go in with the shade Kale Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's the name. Yes, I remembered it without looking at it. <laughs> because I can't read, it's on my table and I can't read the names from here. So I'm gonna take that and go over the outer part right here. Taking that down on the lower lash line too and just kind of connecting everything together. I'm gonna bring this all the way over. I could take this green and go all the way across. I guess it depends on how much space you've got there. I've got more space up here than I do down here. Then I'm gonna take this flat brush from e.l.f. I literally have a bajillion of these and I don't know where they came from, <laughs> but just any flat brush will do. And what shade? You can really use any of the light shades in here, like the the white, the really light green, or the light yellow. So what do I wanna do? I think I'm gonna do the light yellow. It's called Citrus Zinger. And I'm just gonna put that over this kind of blank spot right there just give a base because I'm going to use some of those shimmers here in a second. All right, I'm going to take this e.l.f. glitter primer and go over basically that whole area that we just put that light yellow on. I did find out that, did I use this in my last video? I think in my last video, but I put it on over like with my finger and it worked a little better. I feel like a brush kind of removes it, like removes the shadow underneath 
and it, if you're using a darker color, it does not look great. Oh, it still did at this time. Oops. What am I doing wrong? Why is it doing that? You can see that it kind of removed some of that underneath. Oh well. You definitely do need a glitter primer with these shimmers because they fall out everywhere. Even if you do use one, they fall out, but it makes it a little bit better. I'm keeping my eyes kind of shut because if you have hooded lids, they can kind of stick together if that glitter primer is not dry. And you could do like a, a harsher cut crease with a concealer or something, but I'm not going to do that because with hooded eyes, it doesn't really make a difference. <laughs> like you can't even see it anyways. I'm going to take this skinnier flat brush. This is from Sony Kashuk. I don't think they make brushes exactly like this anymore, but I'm sure they have something similar. I'm going to go into the shade Lemon Wheatgrass. It's the shimmery goldish kind of color. And I'm going to pat that toward the inner part. Yep, see on this eye where it's starting to crease right there? I didn't keep my eyes shut. Or, yeah, I didn't keep my eyes shut. I really do love this color, this Lemon Wheatgrass one. I like gasped when I swatched these for the first time. I just wish it wasn't so chunky or like if it didn't now it's looking fine as I'm applying it, but after a little bit, it's probably going to be all over my face. I'm kind of going not quite all the way to the outer edge of like my eyeball, my iris. Yeah. About to the edge of my pupil, not really my iris. It's kind of how you can gauge where your makeup is by your eyeball. And then I'm going to take the shimmery blue, which is called Blueberry Burst, and I'm going to put that on the rest of this part right here. And again, kind of overlap them in the middle since we don't have a green shimmer in here. If you have a green shimmer and you want to use it, go for it. I'm just trying to only use this palette. Okay, now the shimmers are on and I am definitely missing a little, kind of in this middle area where I thought I was going to put that darker green uh, so I'm going to go over that darker green a little bit to where I first put it. Just be careful with this step because if you have any of that glitter primer that's not like saturated or set, this is just going to stick to that and it's going to be really dark in one spot. I've made that mistake several times. I'm kind of blending this dark green over top of that blue shimmer just a little. This this eye is looking good. This one is not because I usually to do this eye I go like down into this other mirror over here, but I'm trying to do it with this one and it's not working for me. All right, so on to the lower lash line. I'm thinking of of doing something outside of this color scheme right here. Maybe doing like a, an orange or that really really bright pink. I feel like the orange would be better because it would kind of tie into this yellow. I'm going to go into Orange Carrot, and we'll see how that looks. Starting on the outside. And then I'm going to go into Turmeric Shot and finish the rest of the lower lash line there. So yeah, that's the glitter starting to fall out quite a bit. And I'm kind of blending those two together on the bottom in the middle. I'm going a little bit with the same brush into a coconut water and putting that a little bit in the inner corner. I feel like this brightens a little bit, but it's not so obvious as a shimmer. So whenever I put a shimmer right here, it just travels down into these lines right here. I'm using my trick with my phone to see how the look is looking. I feel like it looks so much different on camera versus in real life. So I think the top part looks good, but I'm not quite sure about the middle. I never know what to do about the middle because I'm like, you can't really see it most of the time anyways because of my hooded lids. I think I'm just going to go back and add a little more green and the yellow right there. Just right in the middle right there. I think I'm going to take that blue and go Mm, cover over that green a little bit and make that make that a less um, I'm trying to say less dark but I still want that contrast there in the outer part so I don't know I don't know I'm just kind of winging it 
And I don't normally use eyeliner, but if you want to add liner, go for it. All right, so I was in the middle of putting my mascara on, literally going like this, and then a bird got in the house. So I had to go take care of that. I wish I would have filmed it, but anyways. So here is the finished look. And what kind of lipstick do we want today? Mm, I think I'll go with WYD from ColourPop. Alright, so that is WYD from ColourPop. It's kind of similar to their shade Beeper. So I'm gonna take the glasses back off so you can see like the whole thing, even though I have these marks because my glasses were on for a minute. Yeah, Bird got in the house while I was in the middle of doing mascara and the cats were going crazy. My brother finally caught the bird. Yeah, okay. But all in all, I really love this palette. This is probably the seventh or eighth look I've done using this palette. A couple of them I didn't film or photograph or anything, but I think I've used most of the shades by now. Yeah, yeah, I've used every single shade. And um, I highly recommend this palette. I think it's almost sold out at this point. So if you want to get it, I'd grab it. But I have heard that it is permanent though. So don't like, you know, don't go crazy. But I really do like all of these colors, I think. The, um, I think this Shake Primer actually helps with the pigmentation on some of these, even though they are pigmented like on their own with another primer, but the Shake Primer just makes them that much more intense. I'm gonna be doing a video about the Shake Primer as well, comparing it to, I think, the ABH one. So yeah, let me know if there's any like color combos that you want, me, want to see me do with this, or maybe that random color challenge would be kind of interesting. You can click up here to watch my most recent video, or click up here to watch my other video that I did about the Juicy Boost palette, and I have swatches on my blog as well. It's abbyhoying.com, and I'll link that post in the description. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss seeing my face in your subscription box every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, sometimes Sundays at noon Eastern time. And all my social media and the links to the products that I used today will be in the description box as well, and I will see you guys in the comments. Bye!